Normani, thank you for being here. Thank you for having me. Okay, and we, we had our off-camera talk about, you know, our names being confused and people mispronouncing it. I was calling you Normani. You were? I'm sorry. I'm disappointed. I know, but, you know, I tell people my name's Tatiana, and they go, Chadiana. They say Chadiana? Chadi. Hey, Chadi. Oh. Like, yeah. <laughs> hey, Chadi. Chadi. <laughs> it's like a like a tater tot. It's exactly yeah, right? like that. Uh, so you get my pain. All right. Yeah, so no, I do. I All will the not, time. I will not mess up your name. Where Where is it from? You have to tell me where. Um, my uncle, he actually passed away from cancer. Okay. And I'm my mom's firstborn, so she promised him that her firstborn would be named after him. Okay. So she kind of made it into a female You're name. the tribute baby. Yes. You're the baby that's going to be, you know, you, you helped her to remember her Absolute, brother. Absolutely. That is amazing. That's a good story because I was going to ask you if your dad's name was Norman. No, my dad's name is Derek. Oh, okay. Yeah. All right. <laughs> you could have been Derricka or Derricka. No, listen. <laughs> listen, it's funny that you say that because he actually wanted to name me Derricka. See, the... See, I knew it. And so I have this theory every time people call in and their name has like a guy name first and then it feminizes like one letter it. After I'm like, it. that's your daddy. Your mom loves your daddy. My, my dad <laughs> begged my mom and she was like, hell no. That's amazing. <laughs> that's, that's pretty fun. I'm glad that you've uh, finally put to rest my conspiracy theory. And when Frankie comes home, I told you. <laughs> I told you. you. No, Davina you're right. is David. Her dad's name is David. David. Ask her. <laughs> <laughs> okay, so you've dropped Corday and Hamilton. You're yes. going one, and and does this have anything to do with the fact that I and I've stalked you? I'm sorry, I had to. When I, I feel I like I know your name right, but going. I stalked you. Um, Beyonce is. I knew it. <laughs> it's a one name. You drop it everything is a one else. Name. It's branding, isn't it? Really? Right. I mean, for me personally, I just feel like it's. Nirmani is powerful on its own, and so many people, like we've talked about, butch my name. Mm. So it's, how do I expect them to get Nirmani Corday right if they can't even get Nirmani right? You right. know, and I feel like, I don't know, just visually, like, it's powerful on its own. I don't think that it's necessary for the rest of my name to really be. You know what's powerful? Like, this this thing you did. Oh, with the With your hair. The, the, yeah. It's on the eyes, too. You got some eyes. You're... Fears. Yeah, I saw that picture. I was like, oh my gosh, she's coming in here. <laughs> Sweat me. <laughs> Sweat. Like, that's, you're, you're pretty, you're, you're, you're fierce too, though. Yeah. Girl, I'm a hot dang No, mess. girl, you rocking that hat. I'm like about everybody to be 38 could... years old, a hot mess. I couldn't even wash my hair this morning. You're not, that's... you're not about to be 38. I'm about to be 38. Oh my gosh. Let's, let's talk about you, Love Lies. Okay, so yes. I see you do this performance with Khalid, and you guys are just like the best. You could tell that he respects you, and lo- you know, it's not mm-hmm. one of those. And I'm not, I don't mean to talk bad about any other artists because they're all dope. But, like, he's not graining on you. Right. You're not, you know, you, it's one of those, like, yes, this is, like, she looks good. Right. Oh, my gosh. You know, he has, like, that that respect. Right. And that's honestly just comes with us being the best of friends and us having that understanding, you know. And you guys met through music? We met through, honestly, we met through, like, social media. And we had been communicating for some time because we were both huge fans of each other. Mm-hmm. And he invited me to his Young, Dumb, and Broke music video shoot because yes. he had a bunch of his, his friends. Mm-hmm. Um, and then from there, it was just, the rest was pretty much history. And we, we felt like we knew each other for the longest time. And he's such an incredible artist but an even greater friend. And I'm just so happy to, like, have him in my world. Mm-hmm. And... It just was really both of us wanting to get into the studio because we were both really passionate. Yeah. And we didn't even know what we wanted the record to sound like, to be but completely honest. But it's an amazing record. So Love Thank Lies you. comes off of, the, it's a second single off of Love, Simon. Right. Which mm-hmm. is like teen rom-com. I right. Mean, it's it's right there. It's it's who you want to speak to. You're, right. I mean, you're 21, turning Absolutely. 22. Yep. It's your audience. You know, I'm the old lady. But You're not but I love But I love that you and Khalid have that friendship and you right. said that he was your spirit animal he is so you yeah. guys get into the studio and what's that like when you're working with someone who you admire artistically and, mm-hmm. and making music is it intimidating like what, what not is at that all feeling? Yeah. not at all and because we were friends first you mm-hmm. know um we kind of created that space and because of the friendship it allowed us just create a freedom and not us feeling like oh my gosh like is this a bad idea or like intimidated i mean there are some situations like that can be like that because depending mm-hmm. on who you're working with, you you get like nervous, right. you know. But with him, it felt like one big jam session. And he's younger for sure. than you, so are you like big? He's fifth? like twenty. Yeah, yeah he's is twenty. He? I'm I'm about to be twenty two. So. Uh, okay, so not that much younger. Than yeah, you. not that much younger. Okay, so how to we're, we're like here with Missy Elliott. Now that one, I'm gonna have to <laughs> prepare myself for a week ahead. 
a uh, week prior. <laughs> okay, so you haven't even, it hasn't even started yet where you are able to work with Missy just right. yet. Right, we haven't gotten into the room yet, but we have definitely been in conversation. Isn't she the most inspiring? Like, I watch her tweets. She, she will, like, the fierce that you are. Right. Propel. She's, right. She's all about it. You know Absolutely. What I mean? like, and you need those people to Absolutely. work with. Especially her being just a strong woman in such a male-dominated field. Like, mm-hmm. for me personally, I don't really know any other female producer that's done it like Missy Elliott. Right. You know? And not even her just being a female, but just her as an artist. Like, she's changed the game. She's worked she's with changed so the game, and she's worked. People. She's literally worked with everybody that mm-hmm. I'm inspired by. Mm-hmm. I mean, I'm even inspired by like the '90s R&B and every single record. Like, honestly, I call it the Missy Elliott era. Yeah, it was sure. the Missy era. It was era. The it was Missy her era. and Timbaland. Like they just they killed it. They killed it, and they yeah. they brought something new and fresh. And she has this way of thinking so forward and so ahead. It's like she already knows what's hot before everybody else is even thinking about it. So if people are clicking on this interview, which they will. <laughs> She's like, come on. Come on. <laughs> um, what do you want people to know about you? You know, people will associate you with what you've done already. Mm-hmm. Like mm-hmm. I said, your career has been. Whew. Right. Um, by the way, I can't even tell you. I can't even pronounce your dance partner's name. When <laughs> Val Smirkovsky. See, that's another one. Butcher his name, too. <laughs> but you've done, you know, what do you want people to know about you as an artist and about this upcoming album? It's later this year, right? It's later this year, top of, like, next year, so. Okay. What do you yeah, want them to know about you as an artist, and what do you want them mm-hmm. to, to kind of, um, when, when, when they come across, they, they think of you? Honestly, I just want to get to a place where I think highly of myself, you know, as an artist, as a woman, and not being afraid to speak about things that I hadn't necessarily been able to speak or touch on before. And even, I mean, I just performed at Fallon, for example, for the first time by myself. For me, before I even went on, I said, God, just let me not prove to everybody else, but most importantly, prove to myself Mm -hmm. that I'm okay and I got this. I can do it gracefully and I can kill it in the group, but I can also do my own thing and really hold my own. Yeah. So for me, it's just being able to creatively go any place that I want and me being happy because in the end of the day, that's success to me. And for people to really get a sense of who I am for the first time, because even being in the group, like you probably only know a, a fraction of who I am because it's a lot of information with having five girls. So mm-hmm. I just want people to, to really get to know the person that I, I am in here so right when you, when you say that um you're you're growing yourself and what mm-hmm. is the most vulnerable when do you feel the most vulnerable i feel the most vulnerable honestly with with people that understand me mm. i feel like with my family with my friends mm. people that don't necessarily See you as Normani. See me as Normani from Fifth Harmony. Right. But they see me at home. They see me insecure. They keep me grounded, don't they, they, though? They definitely keep me grounded, which is why I keep my mom and my my best friend on the road with me. I was going to tell you, who's your strength? Who's your your female? Like, who's around you that kind of gives you strength to... Oh, my my mom, definitely. For sure. And my my best friend. My grandmother would be here, but she's holding the house down with my dad. My dad's working, so... Yeah, my I love family. That you, I love that you're still close to them, and you're young, so you know that you're gonna be this huge sensation. Mm-hmm. And you see all these big. Not that you're not already. Thank that sounded you. horrible the way that came out, but I mean, like, to the point where you're gonna be so busy working, mm-hmm. right? So to have that foundation, you know, it's all about foundation for sure. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Um, so social media, um, double edged sword, would you say? Yes. Have you ever gotten in trouble with something that you sent out, or you had to take something back? Where you were like, okay, let me pause. This might not look good in six months. Hmm. I'm pretty smart, I feel, about social media, especially because we started at such a young age. Mm-hmm. So it's kind of like we had to learn real fast. Yeah. But I've definitely been, I mean, I feel like there's definitely like two two ways of social media. You know, there's the negative, like, trolls and everything. And mm-hmm. then there's also social media for me personally being great to communicate with fans across the world that I haven't had the chance to meet, but Mm -hmm. I was bullied like two summers ago and I had to step away from social media. From who? Just Just troll, like people just talking down. 
Yes. Wow. Like racially bullied. You know, I'm not, you know, I, I went like this and then I realized, hmm, not so shocked. Not surprised. Not so, yeah. You're not surprised, right? Not so shocked. No. Yeah. No. And then and people that's make sad fake for, accounts for you to not do to that. Be shocked because right. it's such a normalized thing. I used to be. And then I just, you know, more and more as I see it coming up and I see how people talk, like mm-hmm. people will even do it to me. And I'm yeah. like, yo, I'm, I'm just on the radio. Like, right. you, calm down. Calm you know down. <laughs> so they, imagine for me. Like, right. They hang on your word. They hang on your outfit. The, the, the so anything. And not just, even knowing you. And they make up things yeah. in their mind or like, oh, my God. Like, what if I'm having a bad day? Right. I'm allowed to have a bad day because I'm a human just like you are. Mm hmm. I was talking to my coworker about that. You know, I said sometimes, you know, these celebrities come in and they're tired or they're hungry or right. they've been on the road or you know and and they come in and and there's an expectation from mm-hmm. the both of us. Right. I'm expecting you to do something so that I get my clicks for right. work. Right. You're expecting me to ask you the right questions so you can plug your music. You know, there's right. a lot of expectations, but sometimes like you said, people have bad days. People have bad days and I feel like considering those bad days like we had done a pretty good job of keeping it together you know <laughs> and always making sure we speak to everybody anytime we walk into a room no matter how tired we are mm-hmm. just because that's not what we were told to do but that's be- that's who we are as people yeah you have to treat people as human beings not absolutely i'm above you i'm below you absolutely but and still, it's like people don't give us credit for that they just no they the hate. it's like the norm doesn't stick for a celebrity they don't you know what i mean like mm-hmm. they expect so much from you mm-hmm. but then at the same time they don't give you any leeway not at you all you can't make a mistake you not at all yeah i i feel for and imagine that at 15 years old yeah Me, i mean i can't imagine it at 15 like i said 22 i was new confusing you questioning like oh shoot am i this you start to believe what you're reading so i'll tell you who i talked to when i was 22 and you know who she is I, I, a marie i love her i was just listening to one thing in the car i was just i had a uh, twitter on and i was like let me go back because i saw something with why don't we fall in love with me get back <laughs> uh, she makes me want to put on shorts even though it's not even hot enough for it hot but for it. you know i talked to her and and she a lot of times when you're talking right now it sounds like she was just a positive person mm-hmm. with good vibes you know what i mean mm-hmm. and and you never know where the career is going to take you but she talked to little old me over the phone, and it, was, it wasn't even like we were recording an interview. She literally just called to say thank you for being a fan of the music because I like awesome. pushed for them to play the song in Hawaii, wow. Little Old Island. So she just called to say thank you, and I thought, that's stuck in my mind. I'm right. like forever a fan People of People are hers. always going to remember how you made them feel, for sure. Right, because they, but it's a double-edged sword because right. they put you on this pedestal. Like, right. Ah. Yep. So that's why I told you thank you for making time for us. Oh, my God. Thank, thank you guys for even wanting to have me and you making time for me like it goes both ways yeah well now i'm i'm clocking i'm watching you i won't troll <laughs> you i promise I'll, it's all good vibes but i'm gonna be like all right i'm waiting for this album normani let's you. get it on and and i can't wait to see you again thank you so much and when you that tati see? thank you it's not that hard it's not toddy <laughs> my day's over and done yeah right <laughs> <laughs> the, the, the line through the foundation <laughs> oh the streak yeah. that's happened thank you so much thank you